Let's now look forward to our next contest, which is a title fight, the British heavyweight title up for grabs. I think this fight could actually um, steal the show. You know what I mean? I think we're going to put on a great performance. Um, Charlie's as tough as they come. You know what I mean? He's, I'm going to be in for a hard night. Um, and I have no doubt in my mind that, you know, it's going to be a good hard fight. I know Podmore comes out of the scrap every time. He's, he's not going to go away easy. Um, neither am I, to be honest. I think we'll meet in the middle and we'll go from there. It's going to be a crack and fight. Colson, his MMA 4-1-0, 85-inch reach. What about that? Dan Podmore, the champ. He's beat Rob Cunningham. He beat Josh Burns, no contest against Paul Taylor, and lost to Mickey Parker. This is going to be one hell of a fight. BKB presents five two-minute rounds of bare-knuckle boxing in this British heavyweight title clash. Introducing first, in the red corner, the challenger representing Eastbourne, Charlie Kung Fu Panda Muna! Across the ring, his opponent stands in the blue corner. The defending champion representing Birmingham, Dan Poddy Podmore. Our referee in charge of the action is Clive Allenson. OK, lads, you both need what's at stake, all right? Five two-minute rounds, watch the heads when you're coming in. No holding and striking, all right? Keep your heads up, OK? Keep it clean. Keep it fair. If I say break, I want you to stop, take one step back. Either one of you goes to the canvas, other immediately to a neutral corner. All right, good luck. Let's get down to business. Saw Dan Podmore win the title by beating Rob Cunningham. And he's certainly a much improved fighter, but he's got his hands full against Charlie Milner today, an MMA man with a record of four and one. Two big guys. Charlie Milner, 20 stone four. Dan Podmore, 17 stone five. A three stone weight advantage. Notice there about Podmore straight away. Nice and light on yeah. the feet, Tom. He's good on his feet yeah, for a big guy. he's good on his feet for the big guy. You know, he's moving. See the lateral movement, yeah. left to right. That's nice, that, Tom. Uh, nice jab, though. Like that, yeah. From uh, Milner. Nice counter. Milner's got 85 inch reach. Yeah, I was going to say, he's a big guy. Big reach on him. Nice jab by the looks of it. And you can work off the jab, yeah. Eh? Everything comes off the jab, Tom. Yeah. Oh, nice little right hand he snuck we in there. We didn't see too much of that in the last fight, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> be fair, didn't we? That was a war. It was. Or as they say in all good parts of this country, a tear up. A proper tear up. Proper tear up. But this is this two is guys. A bit more like it, Tom. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, take... and a lot of respect between the two fighters as well, but his movement... Yeah, Podmore's movement there, his left I mean, and right, and then he's... You know, a he... lot of boxers use the head and bob and whip, but your best way to get into trouble and out of feet. trouble is your feet. It's your feet, Tom. Absolutely. Don't lead with your face, lead with the feet. Oh, I told you before, if you box with your face, you're a contender. <laughs> box with your brain, you're a champion. True. Oh, good shot from Podmore there to have the right hand over the top. To the jab there. Five rounds as well for two big guys to get around the ring. Yeah, and the, you know, the, I like yeah, I like what I'm seeing so far. Tom. Yeah, nice and controlled. They're picking yeah. the punches. They're not going wild. They're waiting for the opportunity. Yeah. They're boxing. Yeah, they've got five rounds. You know, you know, they've got five rounds to do. They're pacing themselves. There's no point in just going for it all in the first minute. But they there you go, the end of the first round. But they tell me, you know, the ring's the biggest lie detector in the world. <laughs> True. It is, isn't True. it? You can tell everybody how much running you've done and training. The, the ring is the biggest yep, lie detector. Yeah, I like that one, Tom. Now we're some crackers tonight, are we? <laughs> <laughs> As we check with Jim, who comes to tell us how that uh, went. I don't really know. I'm still trying to just digest the last fight. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, we're just saying this is a controlled Mason fight, a boxing match. Yeah, the last one was a tear up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, it was two to, two to pod more, one drawn round on the, on the official scorecards. Perfect. Thank you, Thank Jim. You. Thank you. Thanks very much, Jim. So the one drawn, two to Poddy. Yeah, I'll go with that. Um, 
Some, just some nice movement, like, like you say, some nice Robin, skills. Robin Black, you impressed with what you've seen so far, just very quickly? Yeah, and I'm impressed with you two, the old pro and the champ. You guys are calling it perfectly. A, a beautiful lateral movement, a little bit of body shot stare by uh, Podmore. Podmore looks good, man. He's, he's moving beautifully for a heavyweight. Yeah, thanks very much indeed, Robin Black, the worldwide famous analysis of all things MMA and combat sports. Well, they're landing punches now. Yeah, that's a good shot from Podmore to the body. Well, he's a roundup. And the thinking, Tom, I like it. You know, the thinking. Thinking about the next shot. They're looking for the openings. Well, not going wild. They're better defensively. But yeah. when they, you have to be, because when these guys hit you, you stay yeah, hit. And that's it. You're, you're, you're caught or you go down or you, there's some effect from a punch. He's stalking again, though. Look at Milner. Never takes his eyes off yeah. his opponent. Stalking him down. But Podmore's ready to come forward and and get through. And look at that nice little layback from uh, Podmore there. He's just getting his feet in distance. You know, he gets in and he gets out. Yep. And, and I think uh, Robin nice mentioned see, that yeah. before. It's in and out. See, yeah. Oh, you know, he's come back with a great again. shot. Come back with a nice counter. Left hook over the top. Just fell short. I think he may have marked Milner. Another good left hook from uh, from Podmore. Bit out of range again. He swinged in a little bit. They just need to move his feet in a little bit more. Nice jab. And again. And I'll watch if he switches that to the top now uh, to Tom. Jab to the body, switch the, to the left hook to the top. Over the top. He's boxing well, Podmore, he to be yeah, fair. I'm very impressed, to be fair. Uh, you know, he's taking his time. He's picking his punches. You know, from nice feints as well, Tom. We don't see a lot of that yeah, sometimes. Not, not in BKB, we don't. No. But as the, as the levels have moved up, the boxing skills have yeah, moved up. You, you can see it, Tom, can't you? Yeah. Well, you heard earlier they've, they've signed a former IBF world champion. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that one, Tom. Oh, good shot again from Podmore. Yeah. <coughs> Milner looks quite in control, though, doesn't he? He, looks, he doesn't look too... Hot and bothered about anything. No, no, no. no. He, it's fine. He, he knows he's got five rounds, you know. I mean, you've not got time to be giving rounds away, but, you know, he knows he, he didn't get the better of that round. He just took his time, no? Jim will know as well. I'm all free for Podmore. He, he's boxing so well, isn't he? Yeah. He's and we're not just getting in, he's getting out. Fainting. His feet. His yeah, giving fainting. Him some good we just advice. talked about yeah, the fainting. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think, I, think he, I think he looks really good settled. This is, this is nice after all the um, storm of the last <laughs> fight. <Yeah. laughs> just to see a boxing fight. <laughs> A proper boxing match, yeah. absolutely. Robin, just quickly from you, uh, proper <laughs> boxing. But they're fighting, aren't they? They're, Podmore's boxing well. Yeah, he certainly is, man. He called himself a journeyman a year ago. Now he comes, he wins the British heavyweight title, and you see him continue to evolve. He's turning into a beautiful heavyweight boxer. Uh, and there's still three rounds to go. It can go either way, but he looks phenomenal through four minutes. Well spotted, of course. The one thing about BKB, can it, you can be four rounds ahead and lose the fight. That's yep. that's the way it works that's in BKB. Because yeah. one shot can end it, one jab, and again, that left. Sort, sort of like, it's not really a hook, is it? it, it it's sort of like a le almost leading. Yeah, like a lead long yeah. hook, jab. There you go, there we go again. It's surprising, uh, Podmore. You know, we see he's beating uh, Mil Milner to the, to the jab, and uh, Milner's got the longer reach. And the height. And, yeah, and the height uh, advantage. That's nice and work from Podmore. And a nice body shot from Podmore there. Straight right hand into the body, faints again. Nice control. We must never underestimate the, the importance of movement, no. whether it's BKB or yeah, glove. And the movement. Yeah, he's showing it all here, Tom, isn't it? What good movement can do, especially up against, when you're up against an opponent who's taller, you've got the range on you. Big overhand right and again, and then beautiful. Another overhand yeah. from Podmore, who's With waiting that. for that shot. Turn that left jab into a left hook nicely. And, and he's bobbing he goes, and he's yeah. weaving and then he's swiping. Oh, there's a good shot. The right hand went in there, shot. Tom. Lovely right shot. Hand, yep. And he's taking the count. I think we saw that then. He teed it up and he followed through. Yeah. And, and what I like, Tom, he's not going wild with his punches. He's picking his punches. The controlled. Simon Aycock in his corner giving me instructions there. Oh, he's getting up though, Milner. Clever enough to wait and take the count. You might as well take the count. Yeah. Just get up. Yeah, he's a season pro. He, uh, you know, he looks he looks okay. Really uh, impressed with Dan Podmore. Yeah. Oh. And 
change it there. And both the left and the right are causing him problems. And it comes again. That's it, like the just, the just slipped that shot then, Tom, that was and beautiful. The and the, the feint there to get his head yeah. out of the way. There's another round, I think. Well, that's but a that's, definite round for that's Podmore. That's a Podmore's round, yeah. yep, without a shadow of a doubt. An easier fight for the referee to, fight, to handle as well after the last one, to be perfectly honest. But we'll see what... Uh, what they scored, but it, I think it's Podmore's, isn't it? Yeah, without that's a, a doubt. Round, yeah, it's a 10 yeah. 8 because obviously, because of the knockdown and stuff. I thought that was his best round, Podmore. Yep. Credit to Simon Aycock because Podmore's a better boxer. He cl classed himself a journeyman a, a year or so ago. Now he's a boxer. Yeah, well, you can see he's just, just improving all the time. Like I say, beating Josh Burns on like a day's notice is just giving real belief and he's just improving all the time. So it's, it's, it's really good to see. Yeah. Excellent, Jim. Cheers. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you, Jim. Cheers, Jim. That's Jim Freeman, one of the owners of BKB and also. Matchmaker and promoter, along with Joe Brown. And it's good, Tom, to see that we've all hit on the same thing. His skills are coming into... Uh, yeah, he's boxing. Yeah, he's boxing. He's boxing good, yeah. The footwork. The, you know, the different range of punches. The head movement, the feints. Everything's coming into play, Tom. And uh, Now, we're coming into two very, very important... The, the, the final rounds, because... Three twos are one thing, but when you come into the final rounds, then you really do have to be fit. Because yep. if you're not, you can you can all of a sudden be winning a fight and losing it yep. very easily. And exactly, we'll, Tom. We'll see who's been uh, do Ooh, Oh, good, good shot. That's Great good. Ooh. shot. Ooh. Great shot yeah, from Podmore. Good, yeah. Great, Great shot from Podmore. Great shot from Podmore. Great shot from He's giving us the thumbs yeah. up there, buddy. Give us the thumbs up. I don't think he's getting up from that, Tom. That nose that's looks a great shot. bad. But that was no, a great shot. That, he's trying to get he's up. He's trying, but, you know, but fair what place. a great shot. Yeah. He's trying. Look, he yeah. can't. He's struggling. The referee has to let him have the count, though. No, the referee says enough's enough. <laughs> Wonderful shot from... From Podmore? Da, uh, Dan Podmore. Yeah. Wonderful shot. Beautiful shot. And to be fair, from the first round, he's been winning yeah. it. And he, you could oh. see he was just easing to the fight as, you know, he was getting better and better every round. He was picking his punches. I didn't really... He took a couple, but not, you know, he... But, yeah, look, at shot. The, look at him. Not a not mark, a mark. his face. Footwork was good. Of a good. Son of a good... <laughs> Any fighter that fights with his face, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want a fighter who fights with his face, because nope. then he becomes an opponent. Yep, you're true, dude, true. You'd know all about that, wouldn't you? <laughs> There's Jeez, not a mark on you. There's not, did you ever fight? Uh, I had a couple of shadow boxes. <laughs> Robin Reed, former three times world champion. But just as they we'll wait for the, 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 they're having a look at him, the medical people, and which is important. <laughs> There's Jim getting. In the ring, here we go. Let's cross to our ring announcer, uh, Lance Murdoch. Wow. Our referee, Clive Allenson, stopped the action after one minute and seven seconds of round four. The winner, by way of TKO, and the still reigning champion, Dan Let's check with Robin. Robin, I mean, Robin, talk about Dan Podmore, how, how much has improved. Yeah, you know, it was the movement and the fluidity and his comfort and all these things, but it was also strategically brilliant. If you go back and you watch this fight after, you'll see in round one and two, he's really throwing the straight right hand to the body a lot. You guys were pointing out this sort of corkscrew left hook or like a corkscrew jab, reaching long front hand. And those two weapons at the end were what put his man down. Right hand to the body, the hands came down, corkscrew left oh, up and over top to the face. That He set that up through four rounds. It's pleasing though to see a boxer who classes himself as a journeyman, but works at his skill, works at his weight, works at his fitness, works at all the boxing skills with his trainer and comes back a better fighter. Yeah, and he, he was a journeyman, then he was a winner, and then he was a British champion, and now he's a top-flight boxer. So he's continually l raising his own level, breaking through plateaus, and he's still getting better. That's a performance of his life. Let's find out what he's got to say, though, Robin. Thanks for that. Let's find out what he's got to say. He's talking to Robin Reed. So, great result, great win, great knockout. 
Great all round performance. Talk us through it, Dan. Oh, wow. Well, still going? Oh, yeah, but um, <laughs> struggled a bit with the range first round. Uh, it caught me, marked me, cut me, turned me on a bit, um, you know, switched me on. Simon says I need to. Um, but we've seen a lot of skills there involved. I mean, both me and Tom commentating the yeah. footwork, the head movements, yeah. the slipping, <laughs> the picking of the punches. It all seemed to fall into place and eventually the stoppage game. Yeah, I knew, I knew if I landed flush, he'd be going out. Um, like I said, it was just a matter of getting past that reach. You know, it's an 85 inch reach. Um, it's tough. Yeah. Tough guy, he just is. He hits, he hits hard as well, so, but... But fitness was good. It's, yeah, it's going to take something special to get me out of there. Yeah, not many marks on the face there, no, looking good. No. So what's next for Dan, Podmore? Um, well, I suppose that's up to Jim and Joe. Um, if they want me to defend again, I'll defend, but i got my eyes on that prize. I was going to say, we're starting I to want, look I want that world title. The world title. I want, I want some Americans. I want, I want that Fabio Maldonado. I want anyone. Come and have a go if you think you can fucking take it. And the heavyweight scene at the in BKB at the moment, you know, it is pretty fat, you know, it's fired up at the moment. Yeah, so yeah. anybody else you'd like to take on in a defence or um Don't be shy. <laughs> to be fair, I, I'm not I'm not quite honest to be honest. Um like I said, anyone. I fight any man. Jim and Joe know that I fight any man anytime, anywhere. So soon as they have to have to give me a name and don't know what fight. So let's get Jim over now. Let's <coughs> talk about um, you know what we've got, we got next for uh, Dan Padmore. Um, oh, he's got me looking at world level, hasn't he? I thought yeah. that was the best I've Great seen in box. I, th I thought he was really, really good, sharp, um, good feints. We were saying it on the commentary, weren't yeah. we? So it's best. So yeah, we've got to look at getting someone over, um, keep him active, get him out in June, July. Um, Podmore's improving, isn't he? All the time, fantastic. It's Great to see. Yeah, so I've loved the two camps back to back. I just want to dedicate this to my lovely fiance. I'm going to go home and I'm going to make a baby. That's what I'm going to do. I'm coming. Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Well, on that note, congratulations and well done. Thank you, man. Great win, great performance. Good man.